If I were to ask you where your hope comes from, what would you say? Jeremiah 29 11 says, for I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. If we're relying on the Lord Jesus Christ for our future, for our hope, we are going to be secure. But if we're looking to this world and we're trying to find hope in something we can see, in something that we can touch, then we're going to find ourselves in some hopeless situations. So today I want to encourage you to put your hope in the Lord Jesus Christ. I mean, imagine not having hope for the future. If you could imagine living with no hope for the future, that would be a very dark and discouraging place to be. But as believers in Jesus Christ, we can have hope because God tells us in his word over and over to hope in the Lord Jesus Christ, right? Because we can look around us and we can get discouraged. So unlike biblical hope, Worldly hope is rooted in a person or an unrealistic situation or thing. Because if we've lived long enough, we know that our situations can change. Our circumstances can change. The people in our lives can change. But the Lord Jesus Christ, in his word, he tells us that he is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. And so we can root our hope in the person of the Lord Jesus Christ. So worldly hope is also wishful thinking. It's a wishful feeling that what we desire to happen will without any certainty happen. And that's more of a wishful thinking, a wishful approach. Yes, as believers in Jesus Christ, we want to be desiring the things of the Lord to happen. But if we're desiring for these worldly things to happen so that we can put our certainty in them, we're going to be discouraged and disappointed. We must put our hope in the Lord and allow him to transform our desires because his word says that he will give us the desires of our hearts when our desires match his. As Christians, we look to God for our hope because he is the God of hope. And so we can rely on him to be there no matter what. Listen, Romans 15, 13 says, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. So this isn't a hope that just trickles out of us. This isn't a wishful hope that we are just waiting and wishing and wanting for something to happen. No, this is an overflowing hope, an overabundance of hope that flows out of us through our words, through our actions, through our emotions, when we are hoping in the Lord, because he is the God of hope. So we can place our hope in him and know that we are not going to be disappointed. We are not going to be let down. So we can also read here in 1 Peter 2.21, it says, Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him. So your faith and hope are in God because of the resurrection of of Christ. Peter tells us that we can put our faith and our hope in God because what he says will come to pass. I know as humans, we can get discouraged and we can think that these things that the Lord has promised, these things that the Lord has said was going to happen are not happening. So as humans, our patience wears thin. And so we get into a situation where we are trying 
to either manifest God's word in our lives, in our own strength, or we are trying to make things happen in our own strength. And either way, that is wrong. As believers in Jesus Christ, we must be going to the Father in prayer. We must be praying about everything. We are called to take everything to him in prayer. And that literally means everything. I don't care if you have a hangnail or if you have an incurable disease. I want you to bring both of those to the Lord Jesus Christ. Listen, I know all about having incurable diseases. Listen, back in 2013, I was diagnosed with MS. And if I put all my hope in what the doctors could do for me, I would be in a very hopeless situation. Listen, doctors are there to help us. Amen for them. But they are just practicing medicine. Yes, they are beneficial and they have their place in this world and in our lives. But we know from scripture that God is our ultimate physician and that healing, true healing comes from the Lord Jesus Christ. So I want to encourage you to, yes, go to the doctor if you need to go to the doctor, if you are in need of medical treatment, but put your ultimate hope for healing and restoration in the Lord Jesus Christ because he is the God of hope and he is the God of restoration and revival. So when we put our hope in him, it's unlimited. When we put our hope in the doctors, in the things of this world, they're limited, okay? It's just because of their humanity, they are limited. Not because they are ill-equipped for their profession or because they don't know what they're doing. No, they are limited because of their humanness. But when we get into this intimate and personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit comes to live on the inside of us, our desires can be unlimited in the Lord because everything that he promised in his word will come to pass. Now, will it come to pass while you and I are still on this earth? I don't know. I don't know, but I can tell you with certainty that it will come to pass. Our hope is in the Lord Jesus Christ, meaning he is the foundation of all we believe. And we know by evidence, right? By evidence, by proven fact that he lived, died, and rose again. Amen? Amen. He done what he said he was going to do and he will continue to do what he said he was going to do until the day he comes back and then everything will be made new. And we can live in eternity with the Lord Jesus Christ. So I hope that word encourages you today. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much, Lord, for your word. We thank you for the Holy Spirit. And Lord, we thank you that we can build our lives on the foundation of hope because of our relationship with you and because of your word. Lord, we can rely on every single word that's in the Bible because it is true, no matter what. And Lord, we just thank you and praise you for your trustworthiness, for your faithfulness. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope that you found encouragement in that word. And if you did, please like and subscribe to my channel so that we can reach more people with the hope of the gospel. Listen, Jesus Christ is the only true hope that we can build our life on. It's a foundation that will never be shaken, that will never be rocked. No matter what happens in this world, we can put our hope in Jesus Christ and we can leave it there because he is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And his word will not return void. 
Amen. Amen. Take care. I'll talk to you soon. God bless.